over these last days, there's been the possibility that we close another link in that metaphorical chain of stories that seems to have no beginning and no end. But we need to close one link of that chain before we can open another. Remembering that every element of every story is an aspect of our self. Let's see what this old story does for us to close that link. In the ancient land of China, there was a farmer by the name of Ti Liang. Now Ti Liang was hardened by the land, the seemingly endless cycle of tilling, sowing, harvesting, selling. And Ti Liang had an only son. And even though his son tried as best he could to fulfill the expectations of his father, because he was a dreamer, he loved to be in the woods with the animals in nature. And his father, Ti Leung, was never satisfied. So at an early age, his father sent him away, abandoned him, saying, if you feel more comfortable in the woods, then go and live there. And the years passed, and the son grew to a strong, resilient young man in harmony with nature, the animals, the elements, living comfortably of what the land provided for him. But after some years, an old blind man came staggering into the forest, collapsing from the many injuries that he'd had bleeding abrasions by the young man who took him, bathed his wounds and cared for him like he would care for one of the disabled animals that were often found in that place. At first the old man mumbled and incoherently but after the tender care of the young man, he became more coherent and he recognized that he was being cared for and he was able to speak. And over the weeks that followed, a great companionship grew between the old blind man and the young man of the forest. They spoke together. The old man told his story. I was a farmer, and then my wife died, and I lost my farm, and I began to go blind. It was slow. Slowly, I lost my sight. And my neighbors would say to me, your children will take care of you. But I have no children. But then a teasing kind of memory rose up in the old man. But then it was fleeting and he couldn't grab it and he fell off into a sleep again as often was his 
bent. But after some further time, the old man <coughs> said to the young, Oh, I would be so happy if I had a son like you. Tell me, what is your name? The young man replied, It is long since that anyone has used my name and I've forgotten what it is. The old man said, Oh, oh, will you be my son? I have little possession. And he looked down with his blind eyes at the small bundle that he'd carried, realizing that there was little that he could give this young man. But then he said, but, but, but you can take my name. You can be my son. My name is Ti Leung. The young man, suddenly, something arose in him. Ti, Ti Leung, Ti Leung, why, why, my, my father's name. And with that, the old man sat up and he said, I can see. I had to lose my wife, my farm, and my sight to gain this sight. Take my name, said Tilio. And the young man replied, I have no need of a name or things. Everything I ever need is here. And with that, the old man, Tilion, giving a great sigh of peace and contentment with the words of his son ringing in his ears everything that I ever need is here. Tilion closed his eyes and passed away. Remembering that every element of every story is an aspect of our self. What arises for you from this tale. How could it be that it brings a circle around for us, closes a link in the chain, not only of the stories that have been told, but our story our story, with its cycles, its links, its dimensions. What does this story mean for you?
what did we shun? What did we turn out? Abandon because it didn't measure up which now is reunited to bring a completeness, the sense of wholeness that makes us present and aware in ways that we were never aware before. What is it that's come together in us that once was shunned, abandoned, disowned? Is this spiritual journey you, you have to <coughs> abandon everything uh, eventually? Yes. And you become reunited. Yes. So when it said, sometimes, quite often, to those who come, don't forget who you are. What does that really mean? Don't forget who you are. And immediately, we know and we remember. What is it that is meant by this? Thank you, thank you.